Talking to chart manager Russell Slade ahead of Saturday's FA Cup first round tie at home to Scunthorpe. Russell, it's FA Cup first round time, which some regard as the most romantic time on the football calendar. Do you have fond memories of the competition as a manager? Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, it's, it's been great to get on um, one or two little cup runs. Um, the early rounds can prove really difficult at times. Um, one occasion at Lake Norian, I think we were we went into extra time against, uh, I think it was Drawsden from the non-league. Um, in the extra time, we managed to get through. I think we scored six in the extra time to win 8-2, something like that. Um, and then we went on a real big cup run, so having dispatched of a non-league club, the, that ended up with us going on a, a terrific um, cup run, which brought in much needed monies for the football club and and built some momentum within the with the, within the football club as well. So, you know, I've got good memories of that, and um, even at Sheffield United, we went on a very good cup run to the semi-final against Newcastle. So. Yeah, it, it's it's happened on occasions, and um, it's a nice journey sometimes. Fair to say, you got a good track record in the competition. Um, like most managers, I think it's a, it's a one-off one-off hit, really, isn't it? So it's um, a little bit up and down, I suppose. You get sometimes you just wait for that one season where you can you know really put a good cup run together. What do you think makes this competition so special? Because so many teams are in it from from the start, it's not just um, it's not just your pyramid of professional teams. It's um, it's your non-league teams. So realistically, there's a you know a non-league team could win the biggest cup competition in your country. So I, th I think that's the romance of it all, and and uh, people just warm to that. It brings everybody together from all different levels. Do you think the cup has become tarnished in recent years with bigger clubs not taking it as seriously as maybe as they should do? Well, they've used it, haven't they, a little bit to to rotate their um, squads, particularly those that teams that are in the Champions League and UEFA competitions. It's um, it's it's a little bit of a drain on on their players. So to use their squad players, you know, I can't, I, I kind of get that. Um, that's the way it's gone. There's a lot of games played in this country as well, uh, more than most countries, as you know. So um, th th there is that. But, but, but certainly, um, you know, every single season, um, Wembley's packed, isn't it, for the, for the cup final. Um, it's always a sellout. So that gives you some indication of, of how big a competition it is. Do we sit at home and watch it around the fireplace and have a couple of glasses of beer these days? Um, probably not as much, probably not as much as we used to. Um, everybody had watched the build up from probably midday. Um, incidentally, I'd have a cup of tea, not a beer at midday. Um, but um, certainly, um, you know, you'd watch it and, um, you know, you'd pick who you really wanted to win on the day. You said after Saturday's defeat at Chesterfield, you felt a sense of momentum coming on. If you're, main, if you're to maintain that, you're going to have to be have, you'll have to be at your best against a very strong uh, side in Scunthorpe on Saturday. Yeah, I think the word I used was a seed of momentum. Yeah, so we we, we kind of planted something very small, but um, yeah, we want to try and continue that. But yeah, we have the toughest of tasks on on Saturday. They're in. Um, Incredible form. I think they've scored seven goals, haven't they, in the last two games? So they're free scoring at the minute. Um, it has to be said. I mean, I, I know that I know the captain there, Steve Dawson, because I had him at uh, Lake Orient, and uh, great competitor is, is Dawson. He's their captain, and um, you know that it's take he's taken them time to build that. And it's, it's kind of like they're they're into their third year of of, of progression in many ways of, of of improving, investing in the club, and improving. You know the the playing staff, and uh, you know they've been together one or two of them now for a, a couple of seasons, and and um, you know I think they they they've set put a marker down, haven't they? Let's be honest. After fifteen, sixteen games, put a huge marker down. Um, they're the setters of the league at the minute. You know they set the pace, and um, it's for everybody to um, chase them right now. So um, they're doing a great job, um, and it'll be a tough game. 
You go into the match with the second best defensive record in this division, that must give you a lot of confidence, a lot of heart. Yeah, well, what's, what's pleasing about that is we have, we have obviously, there's been new personnel come in and, and uh, in particular, I mean, Pierce has been, he's been excellent for us. Um, but we've, we've, also, we've also worked at that, tried to change the mentality, particularly from set plays, um, where I think we've improved. Um, but we've got to continue to do that. We've only conceded two goals in the last four games, which is pleasing, and we've, collect, we, we've collected two clean sheets. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's going in the right direction, and uh, we need to protect that. You mentioned Jason Pearce. Is Jason and Patrick Bauer, are they now your best central defensive partnership, do you think? Um, well, I've picked them more times than any other um, pairing. Um, look, pa Patrick's uh, had to get up to speed because of his injury last year. He, he'd missed a lot of pitch time. Um, but he's, he's, he's shown a real maturity uh, as the games have gone on. And I think we've got him somewhere near where we need him. Um, and with with Pierce coming in, with that experience of uh, and that leadership quality that he's got, um, I think it's it, it's a partnership that's began to gel and blossom a little bit. Um, and, and 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 not only that, not only that, um, it, it's not just down to the two. I think we have a we have a very very good goalkeeper. So if you beat the centre backs, you know you've still got to beat Declan Rudd, and and I think we're. You know, with Souls and um, uh, and Foxy, uh, we continue to get stronger at the back and across the midfield. Anyone not available to you because of injury on Saturday? Yeah, we have a few concerns, but um, I don't really want to discuss that at the minute. We'll, we'll see how we are for Friday. But look, whoever whoever comes in, and there may well be one or two changes, is um, is we'll be expecting a high level performance. Ow.